Hi, I'm Bentley Reddick, and this is Jason Reddick. He's an agronomist for Pioneer. He will be explaining to us about soybeans agronomy. I'll be asking him some questions. How much water do soybeans need? Uh, the water use for soybeans varies a lot, uh, depending on where you're at uh, in the U.S. In Arkansas, um, we raise a lot of soybeans under irrigation. Uh, we typically will get, during the growing season, somewhere between, you know, 25 to, to 35 inches of rainfall um, a year. Um, and so, you know, if we you know, get a lot of that during the growing season, we don't have to irrigate as much. But, but oftentimes we end up applying, uh, as far as irrigation to soybeans, uh, anywhere from 10 to uh, as much as 20 inches uh, of irrigation water per year. Um, and, you know, we do raise some soybeans in dry land conditions where we do not irrigate them and, and you know, they just uh, get what they get and usually those don't yield as high and, and we'll end up drying up and, and dying at some point during the season if we get really hot and dry. Next question. How long does it take for soybeans to grow? Soybeans uh, are, are a real dynamic crop. We plant them uh, as early as, as late March and early April. Um, we also plant them all the way up into you know late June, uh, sometimes early July. But the, the later you plant a soybean, the shorter the growing season is and the less time it takes for them to mature and, and uh, grow and make seed. The earlier you plant them, the longer it takes. So on average, most of our uh, soybeans are, are grown in a, you know, in a 120 to uh, 140 uh, day growing season window. Next question. What type of soil do you need for soybeans? So soybeans are grown on just about all soil types uh, that we have in, in the Arkansas. Um, it's the it's it's planted as a rotational crop with every row crop that's grown in the state um, no matter what a farmer's growing if he grows cotton if he grows corn if he grows rice or wheat uh, peanuts potatoes it really doesn't matter they use soybeans as a rotation crop uh, for all those so soybeans have got to be bred to, to be grown on a lot of different soils and they're very flexible on, on the soils that they can be grown on. Okay, next question. How do you know and when can you tell when soybeans are ready to be harvested? So soybeans will obviously be green. Most of these behind me that you see here are really a, a dark green color. Um, but as they reach maturity, they'll start to turn yellow. Uh, the leaves will begin to uh, fall off and then the pods will turn yellow and, and brown. Uh, when the plant, uh, some beans or soybeans are a brown color, some will be a gray color, some will be a blonde color. Um, they really, uh, just depending on the genetics, you know, determines what color they'll end up being when they mature. But uh, when they're Basically, all the leaves are gone, and all you have is a, a dry stem with dry pods on it. Uh, you can pop those pods open, and the beans will be ready to harvest. Okay, next question. Where is the best place to grow soybeans at? So, soybeans in Arkansas are grown all over the state. So, uh, there's not really uh, any specific area that's better than another. Um, they're grown all over the state. Got it. Next question. What nutrients is, do soybeans need? So soybeans are, are unique in that most crops that we raise uh, require some amount of nitrogen to be applied. Uh, crops like rice and corn and cotton uh, they all need some nitrogen applied to the soil uh, for that crop to make uh, the yields that, 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 when, that we're shooting for. Soybeans are considered a legume. They're a legume plant or crop, uh, meaning that 
they make their own nitrogen. Um, they, uh, they require a certain bacteria in the soil that allows that plant to make and make what we call nodules on the roots. And those rod nodules produce the nitrogen for the beans. So we don't have to apply that fertilizer. Um, the, the big nutrient uptake that soybeans require is they require a lot of phosphorus and a lot of potassium. Um, and then uh, two other big uh, micronutrients that we use here locally is a lot of sulfur and zinc. And um, those, there's a lot of other micronutrients uh, that make up the uh, the diet of a soybean plot, uh, crop, but um, but those are the, the bigger ones that, that we focus on. Next one. How tall and how wide are soybeans? So soybeans can range in, in height um, from being about two foot tall or about knee tall to uh, some soybeans will get as tall as, as my chin or, or chest area. So they can range from a couple feet tall to, you know, four foot tall or so. Um, obviously the taller they get, uh, the more problematic they are to, to fall down. Um, and if they fall down and they go flat on the ground, uh, a farmer has trouble getting those into his combine. So we don't, we don't want them to get too tall. Uh, these beans here are hitting me about, you know, thigh high. Um, and, and that ranges, you know, most time in this area, our beans will be anywhere from thigh tall to about, you know, belly button to, or so tall. So, um, you know, around two and a half, three feet. So they really, depending on how you plant them, depending on how wide they get. Sometimes if we're planting on wide rows, they'll get, you know, three foot wide. So um, they're able to really bush out and become a big plant if we need them to. Or like in this field, we planted these on real narrow, real skinny rows, and so they're not having to bush out very much. Last and final question. How many acres of soybeans are grown in Arkansas? We, uh, usually every year we range around 3 million acres of soybeans. Um, since uh, soybeans are a rotation crop for about everything else that we grow in the state. It is our largest row crop uh, commodity. We plant more soybeans than we do any other crop. Um, the second biggest is, is rice, and then uh, the third and fourth usually fall in between you know, corn or cotton, depending on the year. But um, there's actually more soybeans grown than, than probably the second and third biggest crops combined. So it is by far the largest crop we grow in the state. Got it. Thank you so much for watching, and let's thank our guests for coming. And if you need help with soybeans, call them Pioneer. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.